question of the day is what will it take to end hookup culture? Is it up to the women, women, or is it up to men? And who holds the power to end hookup culture? Now, in this world that we live in, will it, in this reality, will it end completely? Probably not. Can, is there an opportunity for it to the numbers or the, the amount of women that just have one night stands with men to be decreased? Absolutely. I think, I think that there's opportunity for hookup culture to be something that's not as prevalent as it is. That is not the norm. That is not something to do with women's empowerment. That is not feminism. And that is not, you know, because it's my body, my choice that I can sleep with whomever because it's more detrimental to women more than it is to men. So let's get into this article by EV Magazine. And I'm going to read this because it's going to be very small on the screen. So it says, women have the power to end hookup culture if they just stop having sexual, casual sex with men. Okay, so let me read the title again. Women have the power to end hookup culture if they just stop having casual sex with men. There are more women than ever complaining about how hookup culture has ruined their chances of finding at finding a long-term and long-lasting relationship with a man who's interested in commitment. But few people realize that women have the power to end hookup culture forever if they just stop having casual sex with men. And it goes on. 